guys, today I'm going to tell you about a theory, and for those of you who are wondering, this is a survival mode. I'm currently in creative, uh, this is my survival world. You guys haven't seen it. I'm currently in creative, um, just so that it's easier to show you around in this video. But I'm going to tell you about my theory that I just kind of came up with, but it actually does make some sense, and it's got me kind of scared about the dark truth about illagers. Now, for those of you who do not know, illagers are, like, evil villagers. Here, I'll just show you some. Okay, so quick rundown. I'm going to give you a quick rundown. So there are three types of uh, illagers. There are evokers. Ghost gangs, there are vindicators, and there are pillagers. Now, pillagers have crossbows. One of these two, I'm not really sure about these two, but one of these two has an axe, and the other one spawns these things. They are absolute demons called vexes, and I hate them, and they can like go through stuff. And also, I'm not entirely sure what the connection is, but there's also these things called ravengers, which I'm pretty sure have something to do with it. And if you look here, I'll make it daytime real quick. If you look here, I, there's also an Illager banner, which, if I go um, over here, I believe. Right here, there's a uh, Pillager outpost, which just has Pillagers in there. And I'll talk a little more about those and why those are important, but they also... Uh, I said they're like evil villagers because they really hate. Okay, I don't know what that's about. I don't know where they went. But they also really hate villagers. Okay, you're doing a bad job. Okay, you... yeah, see, you can kind of see that one is the one with the battle axe. That one's the one that spawns vexes. Um, okay, so you're seeing them a bit more in action because I spawned some villagers and they really they really hate villagers um oh my god okay yeah as you can see they're very evil let me quickly get rid of them so that is just to catch you up if you didn't already know what they are and i'm about to tell you like they're clearly evil but i think there's something a bit creepier about them and i'm about to tell you guys so the places I've seen them naturally spawning is uh, the pillagers and the pillager outposts. Oh, look, there's one there. Hello. The pillagers and the pillager outposts, which are in spruce biomes. They also imprison the iron golems, which I tried to free him. He doesn't really want to go. Um, but yeah, that's also a thing they do. And then also, I haven't been able to find one in this world, but also the Woodland Mansions when I have the Evokers and Vindicators. I don't know if they have uh, Pillagers. I don't think they do. They spawn here in these biomes, in the Dark Oak biome. So Spruce and Dark Oak are where they spawn. And of course we know they hate Villagers. But they will also unnecessarily, keep in mind, attack players. Is there one of you guys in here? It'd be really helpful for my video. Or one of you guys in here? I hear you guys. What? Okay, where is it? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Hey. Yeah, so you will shoot at you. Like that. Now, my theory personally, is that they have killed so many villagers and players and stuff that it eventually started to affect the biome. Now, I'm specifically talking about the grass. You may notice that the grass in the spruce biome is kind of like white-ish, kind of like kind of yellowish, kind of like pale. And then if we head over to a dark oak biome, as you can see where it's the actual biome, it's kind of dark and like kind of vibrant. Now you may be wondering what, Tyler, what does this have to do with literally anything? It's grass, you are overthinking it. Well, uh, in my school, I'm in a CSI club and today I learned something. And when I started playing Minecraft, I was like, hold on. So apparently when, this is going to get kind of gross and kind of dark, when a 
dead body is decaying in grass. The grass around it, based on the body's acidic English, how acidic it is, the grass will get kind of, it will either become darker and kind of vibrant, or, let's head back over here, it will become kind of paler and kind of yellowish and like weird. Which, I was like, okay, villain, Pillagers, illagers, you're all weird. You're weird, but like, I don't think that's much yet. But then I realized something that really messed me up. So if you look at the trees, as you can see, the spruce trees are kind of like really tall. And of course, the dark oak trees are just like absolutely humongous. And I thought about it and I was like, wait. Decay and stuff like that is a natural fertilizer. And I was like, wait. So my theory <laughs> is that there has been so much, like, creepy murder stuff going on in these two biomes where they spawn that not only has it affected the grass, but it also has affected the growth of the trees. And that is why when you look at this... Can I grab one? It is so big. It's so big. Like, the trees are humongous, and that is why the spruce trees are really tall. Okay, now I have created a super flat world uh, that is set to roofed forest, which is the dark oak biome, simply so that I can get uh, woodland mansions uh, since, there are, since I haven't found any, if there are any, in my survival world. Now, I just want to kind of point out a little bit more how suspicious get- Oh, I turned off mob spawning. Really smart, Tyler. Haha. <laughs> oh, okay. See, instantly. They're kind of creepy. And also, let's just look around. Yes, a cage. So, if they're keeping people prisoner, I, I don't know if, I mean, if they're killing people, they might want that. This, also you might notice that even good, just like the grass is like very well fertilized and it's like, like I know it has water, but it just seems, it's really creepy when you consider all the stuff I say earlier. What am I hearing? There's a skeleton in here, okay. Um, didn't expect that. Again, lots of these things are a lot creepier when you think about the whole murder thing. They have skeletons roaming around their woodland mansions, apparently. Uh, zombies as well. I just heard one. I know all of this is because it's dark, but, like, it's just creepy. It's creepy when you consider all the people they've killed. And that's not even theory, the thing about them killing people, like... They've killed me several times. They kill villagers all the time. They literally perform raids. I'm not making this up. They perform raids on the villages. I literally had to turn my uh, survival world to peaceful and back to normal because they just kept raiding it. What is this, a vindicator? So if I... Two hits. Like, I got killed by a vindicator just now, not a creeper. Like, that's weird. Also, just, like, the idea of, like, a mansion. Like, why do they have mansions? Why do they have so many of them? Like, they aren't just roommates who's an evoker. Like, it's just creepy. They are creepy. They are killers. And they're affecting the biome. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh, well, they, the biomes were like that before the illagers appeared. And to that I say, I don't care what you have to say, because now that illagers are there, now there's a reason. They, they might have just been in hiding or something, you never know. But now there is a really messed up and creepy reason to why the biomes are like this. And why the trees are so big. Like, look. Just another thing about the trees real quick. Let me grab dark oak and spruce saplings. Now, if I take bone meal, okay. It takes four to grow that. Like, look, I'm not making that up. It doesn't grow if you just use one. It does grow if you use spruce saplings, but it's still like taller than the average tree. But also, look at how big four goes add up to. Come on. 
That's weird. That's weird. Okay, so you don't have to believe me, but I think we can all agree that illagers are creepy, and I don't trust them. Anyways, guys, I know that this video was a little bit silly, like, <laughs> really, Tyler, you're really making conspiracy theories about Minecraft mobs, but it's creepy. Now, the only other theory I feel like I could really even talk about is, uh, as of now, is the one about the creepy music discs. So if you wanna see that, I might do that. Um, but this is my own theory. I didn't see this anywhere. If it already existed, I'm sorry, but this is like, I just made that connection because we learned about the grass game in the CSI club today. And I was like, okay, hold on, what? So, yeah, so that's why I made this video. I just found it kind of creepy. You don't have to believe me, obviously. Oh, look, there's a, wait, there's a villager checking out my mansion. Hello! You amazed? Were you a butcher? I could buy rabbit stew from you. Okay, I'm hearing mobs. Are they spawning in my house? Come on now. Guys, I lit my house for a reason. Hold on. By the way, this is my mansion, since y'all haven't seen it. Oh, Gerga drowns because I built this over a river. Makes sense. Okay. Also, by the way, yes, I did spawn in the mushrooms and the sheep and the shulker boxes. I, this isn't purely survival, but it, it's mostly survival. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little theory. Uh, if you did, uh, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, whatever. And stay therapy, stay therapy, stay hydrated.